Is that the cin butterscotch cinnamon pie? Oh, the eye was different. Oh, nice. Nice transition. But I just feel oddly emotional with this place. You can look at everything. It's a flower. Just a regular old bucket. Of snails. <laughs> Barge into someone else's life. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> Forgot about that. Pick and sign. Scandalous. Let's tell your sock drawer. Ooh, that is scandalous. Oh my. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. <laughs> oh my god, this game's a weeb. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin sized bed. A little bit. That depends. Is it queen size, king size, full size? I think it's queen size. Looks like it. Yep, oh, nothing there. Oops, can't stop looking at the socks. <laughs> Toriel's small chair. <laughs> really? Its name is Cheriel. Or Cheriel. Cheriel. I'm inspecting everything. Oh, it's a water sausage. It is a water sausage. I'm guessing that was something else before. For the message, that is. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Ugh, still have a bad, very bad feeling about this place. Oh, it is a water sausage. It's you! Room under renovations. So, very nice house. Very homely. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Well, I'm pretty sure if it's the underworld, you have a long time to look at things. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. And in other words, it's just a fancy way of saying this, de this decade. Oh my goodness, she's adorable. Stop it already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Bug hunting spot? I know a few bugs. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Oh. We yeah, have stuff to look at. Ah. Uh, should I just say, uh, when can I go home? Or? I'm really curious what which turn this might take. What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Digestive systems as they mature. 
Actually, I didn't know that. Interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I don't want to be mean to her by just saying goodbye. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Hell. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at times. Lousy, excuse me. At names. At names. Uh -uh. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Yeah, former mother. Ugh. The emotions run deep. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. <laughs> There's some white first. Ugh. Stuck in the drain, of course. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. <laughs> the size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Scary pie. Extremely large, extremely scary. Extremely tasty. The stove top is very clean. Toya must have used fire magic instead. I must use fire magic instead. My eyes can't read. This is a really nice place. I don't want to leave it. But I have to. Let's see what's in the basement. Oh! Fancy shift in music. Okay. I think you should play upstairs instead. Interesting. I'm going to guess there's some large, quote unquote, enemy or monster down there that I'm not supposed to know about yet. So I keep looking at these lines across the screen because they keep sliding with me. Do you see them? Like right there, just a few lines at the wall. It's like a little bit of a bump right there, right at that little cell. Like yeah, a few it. feet in front of me. Hmm. Was that a safe point? No, there was one outside. Give a talk. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. I just noticed her mouth is going really fast on the actual sprite. Yeah. So... Actually, does anything actually happen if you stay here? emotionally invested in a character this fast. It's Undertale. It's, yeah. Let's just see in my room, assumedly. I like Angry the Larry. Pillow. Huh? Angry pillow. <laughs> of course you had a face to it. Did, but I don't want to. You already looked at her socks. What? I just thought I was gonna be sung on top of the dresser. Should I? Okay. If you're nodding to do so. Sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Oh. Okay, I know I do pawns, but come on! <laughs> because she was feeling lonely! Oh. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar calibre. Well, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But... 
Oh, uh, wait, I actually want to see about the other door. Explore, explore, explore. Uh, nothing there. So, renovations? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was either there or outside. I hate disobeying so not much like that. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. Oh. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Am I? Now be a good child and go upstairs. Well, I have to go forward, don't I? Yeah. I... Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Ugh. I just want to listen, but I want to go forward. What do I do? Just keep going. Mm -hmm. What happens if I go to my room? Nothing. <laughs> you tried? Yeah, nothing. Tried happened. sleeping and everything. Nothing happens. No, nope. this, this is the only way you get out of get to the rest of the game. <sighs> okay. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Hi, this is a pretty harsh start. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toyo blocks the way. What's best for you? Oh! Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Nice! Uh, why do I go in there? I'm trying to think of something to say again, but. Toyo is acting aloof. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the only solution to the situation. I'm not to fight, though. Ah! Toyo prepares a magical attack. Does it, should I do it? Is it probably supposed to be for something else? Because I... Was maxed out. Ah. Just missed it. Well, there's no yellow.
Oh, come on! Looks through you. That was close. Ah, oh, come on! So I don't need to do any fighting. That's simple. If you don't need to fight, then there don't be the problem. And if there's no problem, there's no fighting. I don't need to fight you! There's always another option. <laughs> Interesting battle! This is making things a lot easier than what they were before. Go away! So much determination to keep everyone alive. You can keep looking through me, but I'm still going to be doing this. Yeah. She's slowly feeling worse. I know you want to go home, but... Please go upstairs now. Don't you act with it or? You might be able to talk. Oh, I guess not. Hmm. Don't need to do another attack, do I? Hmm, another. No, oh, no. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Oh. Why are you making this so difficult? Because nobody has to die. Please, go upstairs. No! Oh! Oh, poor Derpy. I killed her in the game, so I'm just like, eh. Oh. It was an accident. Oh, no. I hit fight, and then the attack was, like, quadruple. Oh. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh. Goodbye, my child. You can still call on my cell phone though, right? Call and it's just nobody answers. Oh, uh, I 
guess she doesn't want to. So, long road told something very spooky. This is a very slow gradient. Spoop, boop, a dramatic effect. Doopa. <gasps> clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. He he he. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die! Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Playing meta with what I might need to do if I have to restart, eh? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. A flower. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. The heck? He didn't do that to me. <laughs> he didn't do that to me. <laughs> it's a unique play, eh? He just laughed at me because I killed it her. He was like, yeah, you did the thing! You did the thing! I told you! <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Undertale by Toby Fox! Finally through the tutorial level. Boom! So... Given all the fun we've had in this little episode, I think <laughs> timing is everything. <laughs> like I always say. So thank you for watching the Doctor and Derby. in this gameplay, or let's play more specifically, of Undertale. Wee. Thanks for watching. See you next episode. To call me mother? Well then... Call me whatever you like. That's why she's called Goat Mom. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not gonna flirt with her though. I have too much respect for her. I did. Doopy! <laughs> why? She's cute! I know she's cute, but why did you need to flirt with her? <laughs> she called me pathetic for it though. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs>